guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and these are a bunch of bottles of wine. <laughs> so I have another pack from Weekly Tasting to talk to you guys about. I've talked about Weekly Tasting several times before. It's a really awesome wine club because it's not a subscription. You don't automatically get boxes. You can pick and choose when you want them, if you want them, etc. In fact, this box is on sale right now. I believe that this one is $69.99. You get four beautiful bottles of Spanish red and they have a deal going on. If you buy this pack, then you can get an additional pack for 50% off. You can either get one of these or they have a couple other different packs that you can choose from. They're always having deals like this. Well, not always, but if you wait for the deals like this, they do come up and it is a great way to save on fabulous wines. So let me just get into this pack and kind of tell you what it is and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so this one, like I said, is Spanish Reds. So we have our little card here, hola, Spanish Red Varieties. I just, I just want to read you everything, but then it would just be a video of me sitting here reading. Maybe I can summarize, blah, blah, blah. Spanish wines have always been overlooked, but they are really awesome, even though they're not um, advertised. While two of the grapes also make frequent appearances in French wine, the accents from Spanish Terrier make for a delicious journey through Spain. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start with this one. You guys, I'm gonna butcher these names. I apologize right now. Fuente Espina, Seven Meses, Ribera del Duero, Tempranillo, 2015. Okay, so this one is supposed to have flavors of blackberry, black cherry, savory, dill, soy sauce, earth, and spice. It also has an alcohol content of 14%, so it is on the higher, you know, spectrum. And then on the back, they have a recipe for creamy mushroom polenta, which sounds amazing. So speaking of which, Colin and I did do a cooking video using a recipe from one of these boxes, and we were using the Clove Chef app with Alexa, but the actual recipe was fantastic, and the wine was amazing, and I love that they give you food to pair with the wine. And even though I probably won't make this particular recipe, I do have a takeout kit for mushroom polenta. So I think I will save that wine to eat with that because I think that sounds amazing. And it's getting to be that time of year. It's still pretty warm out right now, but it's getting cooler in the nights and I'm getting very into the fall spirit and I'm wanting more of a richer red wine as opposed to a light rosé or something as well as heartier foods, which I think polenta is a very rich food. So I think it's perfect for this time of year. So this box for me is like right on schedule. This is great to have around. Speaking of which, these boxes are awesome to have on hand. This time of year, especially with all of the holidays and stuff coming up, you always want to have wine on hand, either to take to another party or to have when you have guests over or just, you know, to enjoy by yourself mid-afternoon while the kids are with Nana. <laughs> yep. Okay, so anyway, getting back to the actual bottles. Okay, so this one is a richer barrier dill and soy sauce. I love when they throw those savory notes in and you're like, really? wine to taste like soy sauce. But you know, if you just kind of imagine, okay, it's got some savoriness to it, it would probably be really good with food. Like a rich polenta would be really good with that. Okay, so this one, yeah, this one is Real Agrado Rioja Granacha. You guys, I'm sorry. So Rioja's wines are typically made from Tempranillo, but this one is Granacha and it's bursting with red cherry flavor because of the dry hot climate and shows a black spice and licorice aroma with a warmth in the back palate. And this one they pair with grilled lamb chops. This sounds so fantastic. I'm really curious about that licorice flavor. Colin really likes licorice, so I want to share that with him. I think that he might like it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and then this one is Bodegas Viña Elena Portasco Montestrel. I feel like I shouldn't even bother trying. I'm just gonna write it down here for you guys. You can read it your little selves. This one on the palette is quite rich with a coarse masculine texture and similar flavors as those found on the nose. Blackberry, blueberry, earth, spice, and some woodsy bramble-like notes. Doesn't that sound like a great one for fall? All spicy and warm and woodsy? I love it. And then this one, which I've decided to drink today, this is the Vega Montan Mencia Bierzo. Bierzo. Sometimes they sound Italian. 
I, I don't even know what that accent is. Okay, anyway, this one, there is a juiciness and softness to the palette of this plummy wine, as well as a warmth given its medium plus alcohol level. This one is 13.5%. This one is 14.5. This one is 13.5 and this one is 14. So these are all on the higher level. I know my sister is like inspecting the alcohol content of what she's drinking. First of all, it gives you an idea of what it's going to taste like, but also she likes a little more bang for her buck. <laughs> she's a boozy one, that one. <laughs> anyway, I am going to taste this one. Mencia. I feel like I really don't know that much about Spanish wines. I will occasionally have a temp, I will occasionally have a Tempranillo. It definitely has a softness to it. It almost feels like a lightweight. This is actually perfect for today because like I said, it is still warm out. It's got a softness, a lightness to it, but it also has some depth to it to give it some interesting flavors. It definitely has some plum flavors, but it's not super jammy or sweet. A lot of the wine club boxes, all of their wines taste like cloyingly sweet, jammy wines and I don't like that. For a while I was fine with that, but I've, I've like grown past that flavor of wine and I really prefer a more complex type of a wine. And I think that's why I love weekly tasting so much because the price is similar, if not exactly the same, but you're actually getting quality wines instead of a bunch of wines that all taste exactly the same. So anyway, I know that I've expressed my love for weekly tasting on multiple occasions. You guys are probably sick of me saying so, but I really do love these wines. I love what this company stands for. They also have another website that I just kind of always have open on my browser because it has discount wines on it and it'll be a different bottle that pops up daily several times a day, you know, depending on when they sell out of them. And it's different wines. And so you can just kind of check it and be like, ooh, actually, I would love to have that. That sounds like an amazing Cabernet to have on hand. Or, you know, and if you buy four bottles, shipping is free. And then you can go back and look at their past wines. And some of them are going to be sold out, but not all of them. So you might be able to pick up a few different ones if you want to. So anyway, I will leave a link to that. It's like W. T S O oh, I'm butchering this. I can't remember what it stands for. So anyway, I will leave the link in the description for you because like I said, I just have that one open on my browser all the time in case I just feel like buying some wine and you can get some great wines at a discount price, which is awesome. I'm such a wino. Buying wine is half the fun. <laughs> I chose correctly. This is such a good wine right now. I'm so excited about having these wines. These are perfect for fall, based on their descriptions anyway. I haven't tasted all of them. I didn't feel like opening all of my bottles all at once, you know, like the licorice one I wanna share with Colin, and this one I wanna eat with my polenta, you know, so I just, I, but I really do love these wines. And this one tastes exactly how they describe it. It's soft and juicy and plummy and wonderful and complex and i'm absolutely loving it right now thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends especially your wino friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye